In the previous video, we created a brand new document that was exactly A5 in size. So whether that's going to be a flyer, a poster, or perhaps even some artwork in a magazine, we need to add an additional region to that, which is called bleed. And we can't really do that in a new document dialog box. You'll have to go to the image menu and increase the canvas size. When this dialog box pops up on screen, we want to be measuring in millimeters, certainly in Europe and the UK and then turn on the relative checkbox because we don't need to see the current values in here for the width and height of the document and then guess what we need to add on to that. It's better off just to reset those values to zero and then define the additional canvas size. And that's generally going to be three millimeters on every edge. So for the width and height, that will be six millimeters. And once you've done that, you can click OK to add that additional canvas size. And the next thing we need to do is to add some guides to indicate where the edge of the actual trim document will be. But it's best to make sure we're using the correct units before we next enter this dialog box. Uh, we need to make sure we're using millimeters and by right clicking on the ruler at any point, you can see the unit menu and then you can pick the correct units of millimeters. From there, head up to the view menu and go down so two thirds of the way down the list until you find new guide layout. Now this is intended for building web mockups and things like that. And you'll find that more likely than not, the columns or the row values will uh, activate themselves. We don't need that. We're going to use actually the margins to our own benefit. So when that's turned on, just make sure that for every one of those margin units, we are using three millimeters. And then from there, you can head up to the top right side and click on OK. And there are our guides. That now indicates where the edge of our A5 document will end when it's trimmed, but we've accommodated that three millimeters of bleed on the outer edges. All that remains then is to save this document as a PSD. Uh, so if you save that into the working folder, again, as with the previous videos, we'll save it as a PSD so we can build additional layers in and keep the same file and format.